You ever hear something in psychology and think, well, duh, of course, why are people researching this? I thought it was common sense. In today's video, we're going to discuss three different phenomena that illustrate why common sense and intuition are actually faulty and not as reliable as you once thought. Some people believe that psychology just tells us things we already knew, or dresses up jargon to make it seem all scientific. Like the idea that if you don't get a good night's rest, you're not going to do good on a test the next morning. But there are actually three different types of phenomenon that explain why intuition and common sense, such as that little advice grandma gave you, might not be as reliable as you once thought. The first concept is called hindsight bias, or the I knew it all along phenomenon. This happens a lot in sports, when coaches make risky plays in a game. If they end up succeeding in leading their team to victory, all the fans cheer them and say that he made the right call. But if he actually loses the game, then all the fans cuss him and say that maybe he should look for another career. This is the hindsight bias in saying that after something occurs, we all think we knew what the right call was. Another example of hindsight bias is in gambling where people playing poker will believe they have a good hand, and they end up raising more and more chips. But when it comes time to call, they end up with a bust. People will often say, I knew I shouldn't have bet that much, I had a gut feeling I was going to lose. But did they really? Or is it just their brain's way of coping with their loss? That's what hindsight bias is. It's not being able to predict the future, but it's explaining intuitively what just occurred in the present. Another commonality in being human is that we often think we know more than we actually do. This translates over to confidence, and when people ask us if we're really sure of an answer, we answer with a resounding yes. But oftentimes we're so sure of ourselves that we sometimes get the answer wrong. The second concept is overconfidence, the idea that we as humans know more than we actually do. Consider this. Here are three anagrams, a puzzle in which the letters are switched around to make a word. And here are the answers. Now when you look at both of them, it seems kind of obvious what the anagram is, right? But that's because I gave you the answer. Now try this one out for size. Is it a little harder? It probably is because I didn't give you the answer. A lot of times, whenever we see something, such as a puzzle, and then the answer right next to it, we often believe we knew that all along. But when confronted with a puzzle with no answer, then it's actually a lot harder, and we get a dose of reality that maybe we don't know as much as we thought we did. The third phenomenon is called perceiving order in random events. Have you ever looked up at the night sky and seen a face on the moon? Or what about listening to that vinyl record of Journey on reverse and trying to find the satanic message that's embedded within the music? Often we try and find order in seemingly random things because it makes more sense to us. Consider this. I have a coin here, and if I flip it 15 times, and it lands on heads 15 out of 15 times, what's the chance that it's going to land on heads the 16th time? If you answered 50%, then you're right. Because no matter how many times I flip it, it's always going to have a 50-50 chance of landing on heads. But often, people will see a pattern in this order of events, and they'll believe that the next one is going to be representative somehow by what happened prior. To give you another example, we'll bring it back to gambling. Often when I go play roulette, I look at the screen to see what the pattern is, where the ball has already landed, and I try and predict what's going to happen next. If it's been black for the past three turns, then I'm probably going to put my money on red because it's overdue for red, isn't it? No matter if it's a coin toss, a roulette wheel, or my dog predicting the president, these are random events that we try and perceive order in them in order to explain them. The point to remember here is that hindsight bias, overconfidence, and perceiving order in random events sometimes leads us to overestimate our intuition. But through the use of scientific inquiry, we can explain a situation better than common sense ever could. In this video, we talked about how common sense and intuition might not be as reliable as you once thought. By looking into hindsight bias, we talked about how we sometimes get this feeling that we knew something was going to happen all along. 
Overconfidence helped us look into how we sometimes believe that our answers are going to be correct no matter what. And looking into perceiving order in random events, we described how we like to explain situations by patterns that have happened in the past. Thank you for watching my video. Be sure to check out my other ones such as my one on nature versus nurture or my video on defining psychology. Also keep a lookout for future videos coming out on my psychology 101 segment.